Welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a flower painting tonight. I got the urge. I'm going to be doing it though on the white house paint. The ready to go house paint. No water or anything added. It's straight white paint from the can. I have not done a flower on this yet. I always have acrylic and Floetrol mixed. Get the consistency that I want. Put it on my base. But this time, it's the house paint. Alrighty, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And you know, all the regulars that keep coming back, thank you so much. All the comments, all the thumbs up, they're wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So please keep them coming. Let's give you a little bit of show and tell of stuff that's dried. We have got my first modified bloom technique right there. Not quite dry, but almost. Turned out beautiful, love the colors in it. And the gold and metallics are very shiny. Just love that, how it turned out. Let me put that away. And then we've got my last video that just actually uploaded with all these awesome cells. This guy's almost dry as well. And he has some metallic in it. Again, this is done with the house paint as the base. Just absolutely love how these turned out. Okay, what else have I done that I haven't shown you? Oh, this one. This is another one that was a swipe. These are the jewel tones from Arteza. That one's dry now. All the edges turned out great. Just beautiful. These don't have resin or anything on them and they have already a nice shine. Okay. Let's put that guy right there. I think I've shown you pretty much everything. Let's get to painting. Now my colors are going to be a couple of Arteza. I've got Arteza's Deep Yellow, Arteza's Crimson Red, and the Deep Green, which I've been using on a couple of my paintings, is right there. Then I've got Metallic right here. The Artist Loft, Metallic Green, and the orange right here is Metallic Orange Artist Loft. And of course, my famous Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold that everybody loves and you wait forever to get these little bottles in, I'll be using that. And you never know, I might throw in another color or two. I always have some colors put aside, just in case. Okay, let's get a little bit of color down on my canvas first. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a little bit of yellow. Drizzle down. Let's do a little bit of orange. And do we want a little bit of red? Why not? Just through the middle a little bit. Now, let's do some green as well. I think that should be good for swiped color. It's going to put a little bit of white down on my tray here. Just swipe it through a little bit. Now the white is Amsterdam Titanium White with Floetrol. That's it. Grab my swipe sheet. And let's just swipe some of this color through. I'm going to start in the middle where I got some color here. Middle-ish. Now again, this is new to me because it's a house paint. It's a little bit thicker than I would normally have my base. So I am just adding some color to my background before I do some flowers. I'm 
just mixing the colors along as I go without wiping it. Just kind of blending like you would with a paintbrush, only you're just using a piece of plastic. I'm going to go over that one more time. Now the way that's going, I think there's a lump in here. And there is. Let me just grab that. I think I got it all. Let me swipe over that one more time. No, I see something else happening here. Sorry, you guys. I think it's a piece of dry paint. I gotta get it out of there. It'll make me crazy. Okay. There we go. Okay. Just wipe this guy off with my napkin. I'll hold it off my table just so I don't put my hand in it. Because I'm famous for doing that. Alrighty. Let's give it a little bit of a torch. Let's see what we want to do here. I am going to take my red first. Now you, I'm using paints that I would use for a little bit of that bloom technique. This has got, um, what's it called? It's called Bare Deep base, 8300 is the code. It's like an untinted paint with about a tablespoon of this stuff. Polycrylic clear gloss in there. And that's what I'm using for my colors. The mix is the same on all of them. I'm going to do a V shape in two different areas. Now one thing I was thinking about was doing a chain pull, which I think I'm going to do that before I go any farther. Let's do that. I think it would be a good idea. I'm going to put some green and some golds on my just a little tray here I have sitting here. Put some gold inside both those colors. I'm going to pull a chain through that, I think. Last minute decision to try this. So I'm just going to sit my chain in it. Turn it around, get both sides done. Should be pretty good. Now I'm going to just lay a couple of areas down with a little bit of chain and pull it through. There's one. Let's do another one. Now again, that's just my two greens and my gold. Okay, let's do that again. Now I do hope to spin this. I have this on my Lazy Susan. Just to see if it'll work with this type of paint mixture. The consistencies, all of that we'll see. 
Okay, that's pretty good. I think I might do one or two more of those. I need a little bit more gold on there. Okay. Okay, one more. I'm glad I did this. It looks really pretty. I think I need a little bit more gold down here. Let's put it right on my chain there. And I'm going to go right here. Okay. Let me put that in water to soak. <clears throat> Might add more, we'll see. Okay, so we got the red down, let's do some orange. This is a metallic orange. Let's do some yellow. This is the deep yellow from Arteza. Okay. Now I think I'm going to put a little bit of my white. And we'll see what happens here. That was my white cell activator I put there. And here is my airbrush. I'll let that sit for a minute. We'll do this one. Definitely see cells happening, which is awesome. All right, let's stop for a sec. Now I think before I give this a spin, I'm going to draw a couple of lines of green. I think I'm going to go with this deep green. I'm just going to go straight down here. Straight down here. Okay, I'm going to give it a spin before I do anything else. Let's see how much this spreads out. Am I going to hit anything? Doesn't look like it. I think I've cleared everything. Here we go. Not too heavy at first.
Mm, very pretty. Okay, let's go the other way. <clears throat> Just about ready to stop it. There we go. Look at how much those spread out. Wow. Okay. Let's give it a little bit of a torch. Let's see if that changes anything. And where's my Here's my, just the end of my paintbrush. I'm just going to draw a couple of paint lines through. Now they do start to flow back together as I do that, so it's all good. It is starting to flow a little bit off. That's okay. Do I want to add more color? That's the decision. Let's bring some of this dark, deep green up with some of the red. Another napkin. This is where you start doing just your little details. I see a couple of cells I just want to draw a couple of lines through. Pick up some of this green on my table too. Super pretty. Okay. I'm not going to mess with this anymore, other than a couple of little airbrush spots, I think. Put that back in there. And that's really just to soften up a couple of the edges that I saw there. There we go. I am officially calling this God done. It's gorgeous. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm not sure I really need to pick it up for you to see it, but I will. If I can get it off my... There we go. My beautiful little bloom, modified bloom flowers with a swiped background and a little spin. 
love it. Considering we have snow on the ground right now in Vancouver, this brightens my day. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please come back and watch another video and definitely hit subscribe before you go. Thanks again.